Your money this morning. Americans are having a harder time borrowing money. A survey conducted by the New York Federal Reserve Bank found that nearly 60% of Americans say it is harder to obtain credit than a year ago. That is the highest level since it began crunching the numbers in 2013. At the same time, consumers say inflation is going to be worse, not better, in the year ahead. Let's hope, hopefully there's some good news in this interview. Joining me now <laughs> is the chairman of O'Leary Ventures and Shark Tank judge, Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful. Oh, a lot you. of names. Yeah, a lot of names and a lot of hats, right? Thank you. I like a.k.a. That's a, that's a.k.a. Great. So think, listen, um, you deal a lot with small businesses um, as an investor. As a CEO, what are you telling me? Why is it so hard? Why is it so much tougher now to borrow money? It's all happened in the last two weeks. What, what's in the last two weeks? Yeah. I mean, we survey our CEOs. We go over 50 investments in private companies in almost every state, almost every geography in America. And we're constantly in contact with them and obviously financing, particularly receivables. When you're a small business doing 50 million, maybe you have 100 employees, you have 60 to 90 days of your sales tied up in receivables with big box retailers, maybe, or wherever else you're selling to. We used to be able to factor that, it's called. In other words, borrow against those, those receivables at around 7 to 9 percent. Today, that has gone from 17 to 39 percent wow. in two weeks. And so the reason that happens is very simple. Silicon Valley Bank sent a shockwave through all the regional banks that do a lot of this factoring or hedge funds or private equity firms, and money is tight, and it's really hard to borrow now. Yeah, well, and Jamie Dimon was talking to Poppy last week in that interview, and he was talking about interest rates staying higher for longer as his prediction. Yeah, I think he's right. I think inflation, I think the Fed will raise another 25 basis points in the May meeting. Here's the thing, though. The effect of this drying up of, of uh, capital to small business has not been shown up yet in the CPI data. So I would, I would put up my hand up to the Fed and say, let's pause. Let's wait and see the effect of this drying up of liquidity. And also, let's wait and see what the data says about rent, because it's rolling over. Rents are down in most cities that are not, not the coastal, coastal cities. By 20%. Yeah, but you don't think that the Fed is going to do what you say. You no, don't they, think they're going to take a pause. I come finally to the place where I would put up my hand and say, wait, pause. Let's just wait. Wait 60 days. But I don't think they're going to do that. They're probably going to raise another 25 basis points. Can we? Yeah, go on. No, go ahead, because I have an idea. Or something that I want to bring up. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about the regional banks. You're saying this all happened with SVB, and that, is that what you're, is that yep. your idea as well? Um, is it t the regional banks, are you saying there is, is there more of a need for regional banks? Is this, or is there well, less we, of a need? Because we've had this ongoing dialogue together right here at Every this week. desk. And I'm arguing that we'll now move to super regionals because the, the small guys will not be able to attract. What is that? In other words, do we really need 3,000 small banks in America? No. Maybe we get by with 1,000 small banks and the major money center banks. The, but all I'm saying is let the market be the market. It doesn't matter what I say. It what matters what the market says because I personally, and I can assure you that there are millions like me, do not want to guarantee every single account in every tiny bank because some percentage of them are run by idiots. I'm sorry I said that, but it's true. Well, and some percentage of big banks are run by idiots. That's true, but let the market that? be the market. It's let the market be banks. the market. If an idiot is running a bank, they will be forced out of that position, and we should not be forced to guarantee every tiny bank. Here's the problem, and I, pu I pursued you on this last time we were talking. Where would you put your own money today with, now that you know that these regional banks are so unstable? We disagree on this fundamentally because I, I think small banks are important. And what Only I was gonna... because you think you have an imputed guarantee up to 250000 and I'm saying I'm not giving that to you anymore, and so is the rest of America. Well, it is. You are giving it to me, though. It is still in place. Well, they I'm not gotten, okay with they it. They haven't gotten rid of that yet. I, under, I understand that. But to the point about small banks is what Jamie Dimon was saying in this interview with Poppy is saying that he thinks they're important because it's a community branch. People can go it. Let me say why. People can go in. They feel more comfortable going into a bank that they know, that is run by people they know, in a town that they know. They can learn more kumbaya, about their finances. Kumbaya. But it's not kumbaya. You, you, someone learns more about let's their finances. About, let's talk about Jamie Dimon. What do you think he's going to say? He's got to talk his book. He's getting billions of dollars coming in every week. I'm part of that. I've moved a bunch of money to J.P. Morgan because it's safer than a small bank. And he's got to say, oh, well, I've got to support the small guys because they're important. He's talking his book. He's doing, he's saying the right thing because frankly, those banks aren't going to be around in 24 months. That's my opinion. Did you hear what I was whistling? Yes, Kumbaya. No, I was whistling the Andy Griffith show, Mayberry. <laughs>
We'll continue this saga of disagreeing <laughs> over small banks. Poppy, did you want to get in on this? I would just say, hi, Kevin. I would just say that, you know, everyone should read Jamie's annual letter that came out about a week ago talking about how we need a healthy banking system writ large, right? Yes, JP Morgan got assets from this, but we need a healthy banking system writ large. I'll see you next <laughs> She's going to say it, but you don't like get I'll to respond. <laughs> Look at She's that.